This is our guide named Tim. Tim. And our Tim. first place to visit is the one other village. Is uh, what is the name of the village? Uh, it's a Pao village. Pao. 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 Oh, the 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 the, the lady yeah. wears black yes. and the one. Yes. Oh. The name of the the, 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 the village. Oh. Okay. Tim told us that these are the plants they use to live for the tobacco. The cigars over here, they don't export for sale, right? Uh, no, not oh. for export. Oh, it's an eel. The eel. Oh, he eel. caught an eel. This is the house? Yes, this is the house. Oh, you know, that, that is uh, their kitchen. Uh, yeah. Also, oh, so they will sleep here and they will do everything here. Ah, uh, yes. I see this okay. very interesting round. Ah, there, yeah, there is the, the place. They are, they bake the the shirt leaf. They are stay here, mm -hmm. the shirt, and then they are pressed with the sandbag, mm -hmm. ah. and then they make a fire at the bottom of the, ah. the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, that's a lot of rice. Uh. Rice, yes. Wow, it's and it's actually it's very cooling here. <laughs> yeah, it's not they, hot they get from hot. their farm. Oh, the belly rice they stew here. Mm. Wow, that one can be for many years. For one year. From the mountain, uh, we can get the different kinds of rice. Mm -hmm. The color is a bit red, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and but the smell is very good. Spring onion. Spring onion. Spring onion. Spring that one garlic is there. Uh. It's very small. Yes. Turmeric. Oh, turmeric. Yellow. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. Tumor. Yeah. You can you can get the smell. Okay. That's is that a the lot. toilet? Yes, it is. How they <laughs> clean up the waste? Is that someone have to collect the, uh, the no, no. waste or they you go to, under the go ground. under deep under the ground? <laughs> Sisuba, go. Sisuba. <laughs> he is very kind that gives yeah. us the lupa. Okay, lupa done. That's a lot of the butterfly. Mm. Yeah, on the way, it depends on the luck. You uh -huh. can see the different kinds of butterfly. Do the cows work in the field? Or yeah, in the field. Oh, okay. In the field. okay. Oh, so it's not uh, for them to eat? Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the local people, they use only for their farm. have arrived to this beautiful place. It's uh, Keku. 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 So uh, before that, Sean had no idea what are we are coming, what are we coming for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the place I'm going to show you. Keku. Keku. It's about two thousand. Two thousand. Yes, more than two thousand four hundred people. This is the Shan architecture. Yeah. Let's check out the cleanness of the washroom. Hopefully, I won't. Doing the business. Wow, ah, Empress washroom for <laughs> me. Oh, that's cool. Let's do your business. Let's take video and show TP. While we are using the restroom, our guide helped us to get two tickets. It's uh, three US dollars, which is about 5,000 kits. The ticket looks very simple. Yeah, so we are in the Pa'au ter territory. And then we are here at Keku to look at the beautiful, beautiful pagodas or stupas. Some of them, according to our guide, has already been destroyed during the earthquake or because of uh, weather. And then uh, some looks newer than others because they have been rebuilt. Is that the wedding costume? Ah, no, that's a Shen, Shen traditional costume. Oh, oh okay. But the, normally they wear the yellow yellow color. But I always confuse like uh, shall we call this stupa or pagoda? Uh stupa. Stupa stupa. And the difference is uh, no. Pagoda pagoda is a big temple. Uh, no, pagoda. The meaning of the pagoda is uh, the same like a Buddha. Mm -hmm. oh, Buddha. Okay. Uh, so when we call the the, the Buddha image, mm -hmm. it's what we call the pagoda. Oh. Image, yeah. Oh. But uh, it's a it's a computer Myanmar word. Mm -hmm. Myanmar people they call the pagoda. Pagoda is the uh, 
the name of the place, uh, the name of the building. Oh. Uh, so we can go inside. Uh, uh, so we call the Buddha. But the stupa, you can do it. We, we cannot it for the Buddha to be just the Buddha. Yes. There is a bell on top. Yes. It's we call the umbrella. Is there any meaning that to have this? Uh, no, no, it's just uh, decoration. Decoration. It's uh, the meaning is sham, very sham. Sham? Sham is a very peace. Ah, oh. peace. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 When the sound comes, it's also very peace. Right? Yeah. What is the meaning that when people they, knock they, they pick the bell? It's the meaning is that to all the people <laughs> notice that I uh, he's sharing his good deed. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a guardian spirit. Guardian spirit. Guardian spirit. Oh. Oh. And it's only special with the boat and water. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yes, it is. Because uh, uh, the the history of this pagoda is uh, uh, yes. one of the king, very powerful, powerful king uh -huh. from Burma, from Bagan. Uh -huh. He carried uh, Buddha images to this region. Yeah. And then he built the pagoda. Uh -huh. the, the first pagoda in this region. Oh. After that, the second one is the Shang King. Uh -huh. uh, that's why it's the, the history of this. Mm. So he takes the boat. Yeah, he takes the boat from that, and then uh, after that he visits the Chinese side boat, the royal boat, uh -huh. and then he, he come back to here to, to build this. Yeah, to build. Oh. It's a legendary. Uh, once upon a time, mm -hmm. uh, one of the very beautiful princess. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from the palace. Mm -hmm. uh, he go and visit to the forest. Mm -hmm. Uh, he meet with a lion king in the forest. Mm. Uh -huh. They're falling in love. And then they have a baby. And then, yes. Ah. <laughs> but I always see this. Uh, <laughs> it's a decoration. Okay. Yeah. But I always see that it's always at in front of the temple or yeah, at the gate. At the four corners, yes. right? Also, four it's corners. usually it's like a a gut. Anything special for this temple? This lady praying. Ah. Uh, they can no. pray anywhere, right? Just choose to pray. Yeah. At this Okay. Our guy is very nice enough to take photo yes, of the lady. That's right. And yeah, it's it. very interesting over here because every stupa has got a different kind of architectural style. We can go now. Yes. Do we need to go clockwise when we visit the temple? Yes. Oh, so, but it's still okay to go anti clockwise. Yes. Yes, this is the first image, the first Buddha image. <laughs> Of the tour at this Kaku. Should I call it Kaku Temple or Kaku? Kaku Kaku Pagoda. We spent about an hour here. Yes. The weather here today is perfect. Uh, a little bit sunny, but it's still okay for me to take beautiful photo. And I like, I like this place yeah, for you. Yeah, I like it too. And I like the fact that the um, marble on the floor ring, right? It's mm. actually quite cool in the shape. Oh yes. Yeah. It's cooling. Yeah. It's so cool. when you touch when you walk on it, it feels like eh, is it wet? No, yeah. actually it's the cooling effect from the marble. Free for her to pray under the shape. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. We would like to recommend people when they if y'all visit here plan it as about an hour free. Yeah. Slowly walk around. Uh, if you don't want to come to 
this many uh, people in the crowd do not come in the full moon day because the, uh, in the local they will go to the temple to pray. Yes, and then now now it's also the summer holiday for children. Ah, oh yes. Yeah, yes. for three months. Mm. So uh, should be April. May and June should be the summer holidays. I was told by team that June and July is their rainy season. Yeah, and that's when the farmers will stop working for a while. This is a sweet cucumber from uh, Taku area. Okay. Okay. It tastes like melon. Honeydew. It so tastes like honeydew. Yeah. It's melon. Yeah. I will not call it uh, cucumber. But they call it sweet cucumber. Yes, yes. Strawberry. Oh, the strawberry looks very cute. Yeah, very small. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, got a number. the tomboy with it. She sold half to me because it's one thousand. Oh. Yeah. Beeswax. Oh, honey. Oh, they're selling the honey like this. In the in the in the bottle, uh -huh. is it the real or not? It's not sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh. but this, this one hundred percent real. What is that? It's a uh, soya bean. Soya bean. Soya bean. Yes. Soya, soya bean. bean. They are boiled first. Okay. And then they're making like like this. Mm. And then uh, uh, the local people they like the soya bean, mm. and they're making powder, and then they put in their curry. This is the shan cracker, right? Yes, rice, rice cracker. Oh, wow. That's a dry chili uh, for green tea. Okay. For green tea, that is a fresh chili. For salad. Look, yeah, for salad. These two is a sweet. Uh -huh. but this, this one is not sweet. Okay. It's just normal. Okay. Which one you choose? I feel like choosing that one. It's a very eco-friendly way to yeah. Eat the snacks. Save the world. Yeah, you don't use the plastic here. It's very good. Very good point to do that. You choose a sweet dessert. It's very nice. Really? Mm. Can I because there's a sesame seed on it. Mm. I like this one. Huh? Very, very nice. nice. Um, once you bite into the sesame, it bursts up the aroma of yeah. sesame. It's very nice. Okay, so you have to come to this store when you come to Taku Tour. Yeah. Look for this lady yeah. and then get the... This a, can you can see it. it's a, they're putting some lime paste. Oh, lime paste. Lime paste. Okay. Uh, see what you mean? Oh, nothing. See what you mean? See what you mean? And then there's a pita mask. And then now he put in some tobacco leaf. Mm. But uh, tobacco is they put in in the alcohol. It's a, the the, the juice is an alcohol. Oh, I'm not you. How can I? Yeah, I done it here. Yeah. It's also tobacco. Kinds of tobacco. 92. But I get. Yeah, there is a. The, oh, this powder is from different numbers. They get from the India. Oh, it's a, India. a different smell. Ah. It's, it's make a dizzy. Oh, <laughs> make a dizzy. <laughs> This is the curry fish with spring onion. Let me just try it. It looks really nice. The spring onion here tastes really good. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very fragrant food. I think they fried the fish before they drizzle the spring onion and the curry on top of the fish. This is the mustard soup. 
looks like that. That's spicy. Um, no. It's uh, just savory, that's all. <laughs> and this is the garlic and I don't know, something yeah. salad. Tomato, tomato salad. Vegetable mm. curry. Let me just try. Mm. 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 Not very spicy. <laughs> yeah. But there's a very strong garlicky taste. Right over here is good mm. that you can have a very good view to the of pagoda. The right. Keiko pagoda. There's one more dish that came uh, after all the dishes here, which is a salad. So this is a seaweed salad. It looks like white fungal to me. Yeah, it's, it should be white fungal. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. So let me try it. How does it taste like? It is quite fun. It is quite fun though. But it tastes very good. It's like um, Japanese style sesame dressing with some chili. Um, or like some peanut dressing. It's very good. A lot of fiber. I think where are we going next? Next, uh, we move to the capital city, Gyeonggi. Gyeonggi. So from here to Gyeonggi, it takes about uh, 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, and then Gyeonggi is situated on the mountain. Uh huh. The location is higher. Uh huh. Then this place. Higher than this place. Yeah. This is a uh, shampoo. Oh. Shampoo made by the black sticky rice. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The steam. Chicken rice first, mm -hmm. and then they pound it. Okay. They sell that chicken like that. Oh, this tomato is different. All oh, these are expensive to me too. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. big. Yeah. Mushroom. Yeah. Very fresh mushroom. mushroom. Oh. We are here at the Ataya Vineyard. Ataya. 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 It's the first vineyard in Myanmar. Let's go. It's a perfect place to watch the sunset as well. Yes. The dog had brought us here. <laughs> this is a nice spot. <laughs> oh, is to get water? Oh, is this your favorite? <laughs> oh, do a marking. Oh, the dog is back. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Hello. There's a restaurant right over here. Yes. Our main thing to go is a wine tasting. Oh, wow, they are super creative. Yeah. They are using the snail shell to make a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah. It can be disgusting to others, but oh, oh like yes, <laughs> with eggs. This is Nomewa, this is Leha Bad, ah. this is uh, Rosé, this is Rara. Great wine. Okay, thank you. Our booking for this uh, package is come with the uh, uh, wine tasting. Okay. So shall we start from the lightest? Lighter. Which, which is, is the, the normal wine. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Not bad. Mm. I like it. It's quite nice, very easy. Very crisp and um, not too. The there's no bitter aftertaste. Plate harvest. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. I prefer the Sauvignon Blanc. The normal Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. The late harvest is has got a bit of that um, woody. Mm. Oki, More oaky. Oaky uh, aroma. Even the peanut also like the amount they give is like very so generous. Nice. Yes. Let's try with the peanut. Maybe you will pair up well with. Very it. enhanced. It is. It's a very good peanut. It enhances the bouquet of the 
aroma of the wine. So this rosé is the Shiraz rosé. Hello, it looks very nice. Yeah. A bit peachy. Oh, I love the rosé. Mm. Actually, the wine is basically very sweet. Yeah. So far, three of them. Mm. But if you compare this with the one we had in the hotel, is nice. um, this one is less sweet. The one because that one has got muscat. Yeah. yeah. So it's. I more. can't remember the taste. My friend, uh, she told me that their wine tastes like detergent. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's not at all. I, I think it's very easy. I believe it's the taste of the glass, the smell of the glass. No, the glass is very clean. Yeah. Maybe if she went to the another one, I have to check with her that which one she visited. This is the Shiraz and Don Felder. It's a mix, a hybrid of two great varietals. Mm. It's very nice, I like it. Personal favourite will be the Sauvignon Blanc. Mm, mm, yeah. It's very light, very elegant. And red crips. Rosé will be my second choice and then the red wine will be my third and then uh, uh, this is the least preferred for me. Yes. <laughs> I will go like one, two, three, four. Mm. So I'll go one, one, two, two three. You sing with me. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go order one glass extra then we'll go back to our hotel okay. and enjoy the sunset. So, after we taste the wine, we order extra. I order the rosé. Sean order the Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. So, what is the price again? Mm, okay, for um, they have by glass and by bottle. So, we ordered by glass. Um, 150 ml is for the white wine, is 3000 kits. And then for Jim's uh, rosé wine is also the same price, three thousand kips. And then uh, after that we add on the lychee something. Yeah, because we saw we saw these two. Two of these uh, wine. It yeah, looks it looks like mineral water. <laughs> so uh, we asked the waitress, and she told us that it's actually brandy lychee. And the other one, I believe, is this Grappino, but I don't know what's that. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll try and then we'll share with you. Lychee brandy. Lychee brandy. Grappino brandy. Okay, so this is the... Thank you. Grappino brandy. This is the lychee brandy. They both look... Like plain water. Exactly the Oh, it smells very nice. Yeah. I can smell it when the wind blows. Mm. Jim, you want to try the lychee brandy? Yes, I will try the lychee. Yeah. I will go for the grappino. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it just smells so good. Yeah. Let me try the grappino. Oh, actually, it, it tastes like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, detergent. It tastes like alcohol. Oh, like you know, alcohol. concentrated alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it tastes like that. Maybe Jane can try and then share with us. Careful, the glass is broken. Okay. Broken. Let me try the light lychee brandy. Yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> it tastes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. It's it's not strong at all. If it, it won't actually, have, if you think it doesn't have the burn. Sense. If you think this tastes like detergent, wait till you drink it frappino. Oh. Yeah. It has oh. got an even intense taste, right? <laughs> right. It's like the hospital <laughs> hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll swap more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we really see a lot of things yeah, along the way. As well. Yes. And, um, we're happy to buy the garlic <laughs> and the strawberry. And we got three free lufa from the farmers. If you ask me, um, comparing both the um, boat ride and the uh, car ride. Mm -hmm. uh, both Jim and I had a little discussion in the car just now and we agreed that the 
boat ride is slightly more comfortable. Yeah, the car, the road here is very bumpy. Yep. And it's like turn, 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 turn. Yeah, and it's very um, windy. So I think uh, there was a point in time when Jim actually was car a little bit of car sick. Mm. And then, yeah. Well, after eating too much. Yeah, yeah so much alcohol. <laughs> at least um, you get to see a different side of Inlay. Mm. And then. I uh, think Kim is very good. I like yes, him a lot. Yeah. I will write down <laughs> or share the contact. Look for him uh, if you come to Inner Lake. Yes. He speaks perfect English. Yes. He's even better than me. No communication barrier. And then um, he's very polite also. Mm. Even he will greet the villagers. You know, oh, yeah. call them brother and sister yeah. as well. So yes, all in all, we had a very enjoyable day. Mm.